Ian, as ever, after a 0 0 draw at Hamden, um, your summary of the 90 minutes? Yeah, really good game. Um, both teams playing good football. Pitch was excellent as well, and a wee bit of zip in it, which, which makes life easier for the players because both sets of players enjoy playing on that type of surface. Felt we started the game really, really well. Forced five, six corners in the opening 10, 15 minutes. We were unfortunate not to score then. Queens came into the game. They're a possession based team. We knew they were going to have quite a lot of possession, and the way they play forces you back into the pitch a little bit. So we knew that. We were prepared for that. I thought we were really, really solid. Um, you know, from 30 yards out to the to the goal line. Uh, second half, I felt we were the better side. I felt we were the team with the more impetus in the game. We were trying to get that goal that, that eluded us. Um, but overall, really, really happy with the performance. Happy with the players, uh, the week's work that they've put in. Three clean sheets. You know, you include a derby game in that and two away games. It's been good. And, and looking at the build-up to the game, you know, we all knew going into the game that if we got if we got X, Y, and Z, then X, Y, and Z would follow after that. But you know, is frustration a factor, or are you reflecting more on the positives of the clean sheets and the and the good week's work? If you can't be positive when you're joint top of the league, I don't know when you can be. People sometimes can forget where this club's been in recent years. We're doing very, very well. The players are doing very, very well. So we have to remind them of that. They're they're disappointed they didn't win the game, but in terms of moving forward, heads held, held high. This is a tough venue to come against a good side. I stress that during the week to people how good Queen's Park were and how good they were playing. So to come here and nullify them pretty much in the game, really, really pleasing. Yes, on another day we could have nicked the game, but you know, fabulous save from, from Callum Ferry towards the end. But I don't think the players could have done any more. They put so much effort into that game and they make four or five subs within the game. Didn't upset our rhythm, upset our flow. We've now got, you know, I think it's four clean sheets out of the last five games, and that's that looks like a team to me on the pitch that I've seen that's going for a league title. And it says it all when the goalie has an outstanding display, a great save from Stanton and McGill, amongst others. You know, he had an absolute blinder around Callum Ferry. Yeah, Scotty was really lucky. The ball just went to sit down for him, and then he does get a, a decent effort off, and then it's just eluded Sam at the back post, and then. Um, He's had a good save from Callum Smith down to his right hand side as well. And then he's had a wonder save from Sam Stanton. You know, an incredible audacious effort from Sam as well. I think the, the effort was excellent, the save uh, matched it and more. Um, so yeah, look, we it was it was a game of few clear cut chances if you like. There was a couple of penalty shouts for, for both teams. Um, but overall, like, like I said, really, really happy. We are where we are, there's a long, long way to go. We um, rest up in the next sort of seven to ten days and get forward to, or look forward to Tanadice. And, and will it be easy to get them up to full speed again for Tanadice after after today? Oh, yeah, very easy. Um, you know, we're seven games to go. It's a shootout now between ourselves and Dungeon United. We go up there and win. Nothing really changes. Nothing is decided. If we go up there and don't win, again, we've, we've got a lot of football to go. There's a lot of tough, tough games coming up for both sets of teams. Home and away, there are some... For us, we've got to go you know, places like Capolo still, and so, so is Dungeon United. We've got to go to Tandice, but we're very, very capable of winning these games. We always knew at this stage of the season we we're going to have to win games. It doesn't really matter where you win them, but we have to go and win them. At the moment, we've eaten into a four-point gap that was there this time last week, so it's been good. Throughout the season, you've talked about the the benefit of a, a large, healthy squad and versatility amongst your players. I mean, Scott Brown today didn't put a foot wrong, but uh, it was Ross Matthews at right back for me that really shone in what is not his normal position. Um, what's the picture with James Brown? Yeah, James just picked up a wee strain in the last five minutes on Tuesday evening, nothing major at all, a bit like Keith's um, that he picked up against our broth, so he'll, he'll, he'll be fine for Tanadice, I'm, I'm pretty sure. It's good to have Keith back as well in the squad. Um, but yeah, we, you know, we've come here clean sheet and we've got two midfielders, if you like, playing in um, defensive positions just, just because that's what we had in terms of um, team selection. So really, really happy. We're um, protecting our box very well, we're protecting our goal really well. We're giving Kevin every chance to keep as many clean sheets as we can. Um, so it's a really positive. Yeah. And you talked about, you know, like a long week, three matches, no damage done. We've got that to come again shortly, you know, with Tanadice and the Airdrie midweek game. Weeks like this will prepare us for those remaining seven games and those three games in one week. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. It's, it's tough. It's really tough schedule for the boys. You know, it's not just the physical pressure or, or, that they're you know, having to put themselves through. It's mentally as well. It's, we saw it last night at East End. It's, going to win games is, is hard enough when there's not much to play for. When you're going for a league title, it changes the whole dimensions and, and dynamics of your, your thought process, your decision making. But I think we're making good decisions on the park where we look, as I say, really, really solid. You can't win leagues unless you're solid. You know, it's, it's very, very difficult. So, as I say, lots of twists and turns to come. The games are now becoming less and less. We just try and keep winning. 
and, and finally, one other player that stood out for me, Dylan, he's not famed for it, or it's, it's not his key attribute, but his defensive strength, his solidity in working back and helping the defence really really dug us out at times, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, the way that our formation is, your wide players need to have legs, they need to have defensive qualities. You know, Callum Smith played there against Dungeon United for that very reason. Um, we, we know he's going to cover the back post fairly well, and you have to do that. You can't play with be expansive all the time and have big distances when you don't have the football. And um, so yeah, look, the players are, are are carrying out the game plan very very well. They're they're doing remarkably well in terms of their fitness. We we look like a team that's not flagging in games. We look like a team that's hungry to succeed. What will be will be. We have seven games potentially left. We, we try in as many as we can, but we know without hard work commitment and hunger then it's very hard so next up is Louis Vaughan's testimonial we'll be looking forward to that game as, as we discussed on Thursday yeah I really am it's a fantastic evening for Louis it's Louis's um, night he deserves it if, you know I've said before if anybody deserves a testimonial it's Louis he's an infectious character he, he, he's great to work with he doesn't miss training his quality is really really high so hopefully we get a good crowd in we have a bit of fun as well but there's also a serious side to it we give guys a few minutes we get the loan players back give them a little run out and see what they've learned on, the, on their loan spells um, but, but first and foremost come through with no injuries. Thanks for that Ian, have a good weekend. Thank you.